Okay, today's topic is Spinoma. So I bought this Acutractory Spinoma. I really like it. For, you know, it's not overly expensive. It seems to measure speed. The issue is, I don't think that thing's doing 218 miles per hour. Uh, I had it in kilometers and it's way bigger, so I know that overall, uh, you know, the, the differential seems to be there. I have it set for N scale, 160th model, but that says 217 scale mile per hour. And that's in the forward direction of this uh, engine. I just reversed the engine and gave it a nice long chunk of track to get up to speed. And in reverse it says 219, so 219, 217, similar amounts. And, and 220, so it's, it doesn't seem quite right. The only way I know how to calibrate it is to do it the hard way, and that's to measure the track, the start and stop position, measure the time, and do the conversion. So that's what this video is about. So step one will be to pick a start and a stop place on the track where I can use a stopwatch or my iPad or watch or whatever it is to time. And in order to use this, let's see, you get to see from here and across to here. So this would be a good spot to select because it's got a, a wire there. Okay, so there's an end marker. Which is in view, and my start marker will be this section of wire here. So I'm going to measure my track from this spot around to this spot, and then I'm going to have the train going in this direction, and I'll do the calculation. Okay, look what I have. <laughs> This is wonderful. My way so so and we'll use inches. Okay, move our speedometer. We'll keep going here. You know, if we do it right there, that's a hundred inches, and that may be way, well, I don't know, it's inches and going to feet and mile per hour and stuff ain't going to make much difference, so we'll keep going to this section here. And that's a hundred and eight and a half to the front of it, so we'll move this to be right there. That's 108 inches. So, I'm going to go write that down and do some math. Okay, the math is done. 108 inches of track, 20 seconds to traverse, would be scale mile an hour <clears throat> of 49.1. Uh, I put all this in Excel. So, if we go across to my screen here and I bring up Excel, within Excel I can input Here the uh, number of inches and here the amount of time, which would work perfectly well, except somebody turned me on to a website as this that I'll show you. model railroad speed calculator. Uh, there's the it's stonysmith.com. Anyway, the nice thing about this is I can put in here my end scale. 108 inches, which is my marker points, and then I can do a start-stop. It will automatically calculate this, and then it will give me the mile per <coughs> the calculated scale mile per hour here. <coughs> so uh, I'm going to uh, go and use this and see where we end up with on the actual speedometer now. Okay, here's my setup for figuring out what my speed is. You can see that I've got over 
there is my laptop, which I'm going to enter my time on. Uh, this is my DCC controller and Eco CSU video camera taping stuff. And off to the back here is a speedometer. And the only thing you don't see right now is the engine that I happen to be using, which looks like that. So there's the engine I'm going to be using, and we'll now do our testing. Okay, we're now ready to start our test. We'll reset on the little thing here and start. Stop. Calculate 121.08 and that says 113. So that says hmm, giving a little light. But it's really close. That says 118. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and... Hard to get the start stop right. Start. Stop. Calculate. 118. That says 115. Reset. Start. Oh, I missed it. So that seems pretty much on. And that's at speed step 63. I'm going to go to speed step. Well, I guess I should go to 31. And I missed that. Okay, speed step 31. Start. Stop. Calculate. 60.21 scale, and that says 60 mile an hour. Okay, so let's drop this even more. And we'll drop that to 15. Start. So this is speed step 15. So I, I thought it was going way faster than what the speedometer was registering, but obviously I don't know my scale speed at all. That's saying 31 and stop and calculate 32.82. So pretty darn close. Let's do a reset. Max speed. Just let go around so that it can be at max speed, and then I'll start. Start. Stop. Calculate 218. So we'll Expecting a speed of. Well, I don't know. Seven. Looks a little lower. Six point two. And we'll reverse that. And a 6.4, so that's pretty good. Now, in the reverse mode, I want it at speed step 31. Anyway, I now feel confident that I can speed match engines with this. It seems to be working fine, and it's working the same in both directions, so I'm happy with it. Oh, and happy with this engine now that I spent two hours tuning it. 